amino acids classification so what will you learn from this topic introduction to amino acids classification of amino acids based on the structure based on side chain or polarity based on nutritional requirements and based on metabolism or the metabolic fate the human body is made up of numerous cells and virtually every process that takes place in the cell is mediated or controlled by proteins which are also called as biological macromolecules amino acids are proteins that are involved in maintaining the structural and functional aspects of the cells and ultimately the body proteins are made up of amino acids and are linked by peptide bonds there are 20 amino acids found in the human body amino acids are a group of organic carbon compounds with a carbon skeleton and two functional groups the amino group and the carboxyl group when both these groups are attached to the same carbon it is called as alpha carbon and alpha amino acid the alpha carbon atom binds to a side chain represented by r and is different for each amino acid amino acids are classified based on four categories based on the structure based on polarity based on nutritional requirement and based on metabolism or the metabolic fate based on the structure amino acids can be classified as aliphatic side chain amino acids hydroxyl group containing amino acids sulfur containing amino acids acidic amino acids basic amino acids amino acids and aromatic amino acids the aliphatic side chain amino acids these contain a carbon skeleton one amino group and a carboxyl group the side chain can be simple also called as linear or could be branched examples of linear aliphatic side chain amino acids are glycine and alanine examples of the branched aliphatic side chain amino acids are leucine isoleucine and valine aromatic amino acids these amino acids contain a carbon skeleton one amino group one carboxyl group and the side chain which is an aromatic ring examples of aromatic amino acids are phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan hydroxyl group containing amino acids these contain a carbon skeleton one amino group one carboxyl group and a side chain containing the hydroxyl group example of hydroxyl group containing amino acids are serine threonine and tyrosine sulfur containing amino acids these amino acids contain a carbon skeleton one amino group one carboxyl group and a side chain containing sulfur group example of these amino acids are methionine and cysteine acidic amino acids these contain a carbon skeleton one amino group and two carboxyl groups also called as dicarboxylic monoamino acids the side chain contains an additional carboxyl group which makes it dicarboxylic and acidic example of these amino acids are aspartic acid and glutamic acid basic amino acids these contain a carbon skeleton two amino groups and one carboxyl group so called as dibasic monocarboxylic acids the side chain contains an additional amino group which makes it basic the examples of these amino acids are lysine arginine and histidine amino acids these contain a carbon skeleton one carboxyl group and instead of an amino group seen in other amino acids this has an amino group the difference between amino acids and amino acids is the bonding of the nitrogen in the amide group the nitrogen forms a bond with the hydrogen and a three carbon side chain resulting in a pyrrolidine ring formation this ring contains four carbon and one nitrogen the presence of the pyrrolidine ring and amino group is characteristics of amino acid proline based on polarity amino acids can be classified as polar or nonpolar the properties of amino acid depend on the functional side chain those that are repelled by water are called hydrophobic or nonpolar and those that are attracted are called as hydrophilic or polar amino acids so based on polarity we have nonpolar amino acids 
polar amino acids with no charge on the side chain polar amino acids with positive charge on the side chain polar amino acids with negative charge on the side chain the non polar amino acids are alanine leucine isoleucine valine methionine phenylalanine tryptophan and proline the polar amino acids with no charge are glycine serine threonine cysteine glutamine asparagine and tyrosine the polar amino acids with positive charge are lysine arginine and histidine polar amino acids with negative charge are aspartic acid and glutamic acid based on the nutritional requirements amino acids can be classified as essential and non essential amino acids essential amino acids cannot be synthesized by the body as the carbon skeleton of these amino acids are not synthesized by the body they need to be consumed via food for optimal growth and development non essential amino acids can be synthesized by the body and need not be consumed via food the body can synthesize 10 amino acids which are non essential Example of essential amino acids are arginine, valine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan. Arginine and histidine are synthesized in adults but not in children and hence can be termed semi-essential. Examples of non-essential amino acids are glycine, alanine, serine, cysteine, aspartate, aspartame, glutamate glutamine tyrosine and proline based on the metabolic fate amino acids can be classified as either glucogenic ketogenic or glucogenic and ketogenic both glucogenic are those that can synthesize glucose ketogenic are those that can synthesize fat while glucogenic and ketogenic can synthesize both glucose and fat glucogenic are alanine aspartate glycine and methionine ketogenic are leucine and lysine ketogenic and glucogenic are isoleucine phenylalanine tryptophan and tyrosine so to summarize amino acids are proteins and they are part of the biological macromolecules they are 20 in number and can be classified based on structure as aliphatic aromatic hydroxyl containing sulfur containing acidic basic and amino acids they can be classified based on polarity based on nutritional requirement and based on metabolism or metabolic fate you can find the link to mcqs for this topic in the description of the video thank you for watching the video we hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe to the channel see you in the next video till then stay healthy and have an amazing week